Motorhead Garage is on the road. We've made the trip all the way out to Phoenix, Arizona to Shock Therapy. They are the place to go if you need suspension tuning for any off-road vehicle. And if you love off-roading, you're not gonna believe your eyes when you see what's behind these doors. It's all coming up on Motorhead Garage presented by Dragonfire Tools next. Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Shock Therapy is the premier destination for off-road suspension tuning and in the next half hour you're going to find out why now. Justin Smith started this company about a decade ago and Justin, for the folks that may not know Shock Therapy, give an overview of what you guys do here. You know, what we do is within the UTV and off-road industry, we pretty much make UTVs ride better or for your particular needs. If you're a racer and you need to go fast, we can dial that in. If you're kind of a cruiser in the mountains, we can do that as well. So every time we touch one, we kind of make it exactly what that person wants. A lot of folks maybe get into a business to make a buck, but you have some, some real passion behind what you do. What's the reason for that? You know, uh, my wife and I have been together 25 years and we've always loved off-road racing and kind of anything toy related, but she had an accident about 10 years ago and broke her back. And the rides on, in UTVs and quads and things were pretty much over with. So at the time, we really wanted to get back into doing that. So our goal was to soften up the ride quality in a UTV to the point where she could stand riding in it and not have back pain. And after we did that and accomplished it, a couple friends rode in them, they liked it a lot, and they told more friends and more friends, and here we are today. Yeah, and what was that evolution like? You know, word of mouth and everything. How, where'd this all start? You're in, the, you're in a massive facility here. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it was in my three-car garage at one point in time and grew up very slowly over time. But when that started with just a small amount of people and us doing it ourselves, we really were able to touch every single customer perfectly. And we learned a lot about what they wanted. We were able to put that in all of our products today. You're a racer yourself, uh, but you don't just cater to racers. What, what's the, the breadth, you touched on it briefly, the breadth of, of customers that come through your door? You know, the range of people that we deal with is completely all over the board. From the weekend warriors that are retired and never go faster than 20 miles an hour on a trail ride and just want it super plush, to the professional off-road racer that we actually sponsor or factory race teams. Um, we deal with all of it, we test with all of them, and we have setups for every uh, name of the game and every single terrain that they might run into. We see here in your shop, folks have brought their vehicles in for you to do the suspension on them. Now, folks are able to do that at your facility here and in North Carolina. What about folks that can't bring their vehicle in? You know, we have a mail-in program that we call Shock in a Box, and everywhere in the United States and other countries, we get shocks in here to do the tuning for them. Australia, South Africa, and other countries that you may not even realize that UTVs are in, we get shocks from. But we're able to dial that in by having an appointment system. Every car you see in here and every shock that is mailed to us is scheduled for a specific day. So that customer knows that if their appointment is on the third, they have their vehicle to us on the second, it's done and it leaves on the third. If it's mailed into us, it's done and it mails out on the third. And what are we talking here? We're talking complete rebuilds? You're talking about repairs? What, what sort of thing do you do? We're actually talking about everything that we do can be done in that one appointment scheduled day. So shock internals, modifications, rebuilds, spring kits. We can do all the installation of rack and pinion, tie rod systems, radius rods, and other components. We make a lot of things to allow these vehicles to go faster than stock. Of course, customer service is, is at the, the top of the list for your priorities here. And you're able to get these, these shocks or vehicles out in one day. How are you able to do that? You know, we communicate with our customers quite a bit from start to finish, both when they call in and we're able to educate them to what they might need or what we're able to do for them in their scenario. But throughout the process, we're always talking with them as far as when the shocks come in, how they arrive, what stage of the process that they are in during that, the day and during their appointment. Also, when it leaves and they're able to drive their vehicle, we talk to them after the fact and get feedback as well, because a lot of these adjustments to allow it to be perfect for that customer is just a click away. And that's just scratching the surface. We're gonna peel back the rest of the onion when we come back. There's a whole lot more from Shock Therapy here in Phoenix on Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. 
Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com, is brought to you by RockAuto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. And by Campbell's Custom Care, your detail specialist. We had a great tour at Shock Therapy, getting to see all the facilities. The way they work there is incredible. You bring in any vehicle from mild to wild or send a shock in, they'll service it same day and get it out to you the next morning. It is the destination for suspension tuning. And Justin, uh, the secret is in the parts you use here. Now, what's, first of all, let's talk about the OE shocks and the OE suspension that's, that's coming from the manufacturer. They're good, but why don't they always work when you start getting more and more into off-roading? And Dave, that's a question that we get a lot with our industry, but the OEMs that are building these vehicles, uh, their hands are pretty much handcuffed by the factory and government regulations. So they have to tune for the masses. Well, the fact is the masses aren't exactly all of us. We want to play with this stuff exactly the way we want it done. So we're able to tune UTVs to do the specific job for each individual's needs. If you start adding weight or accessories to these, they sit too low and don't ride very well. Well, we fix that with spring kits. And if you drive a little bit too hard or harder than the UTVs are designed to be used, we can fix that too and, and, and allow you to do what you need with your car. And you've told me as you start to go faster and faster, well, then things start to break in succession there. So that's kind of the, the succession you follow when it comes to the parts you, you manufacture at Shock Therapy. Yes, exactly. The succession of breakage and components follows the speed at which you're going to drive. And we are enthusiasts just like our customers are. So we've driven these speeds and seen what the first things are to break, and we manufacture a component to fix that. After you fix that part, you might find that the next thing to go is short down the line, and we make that component as well. You can see kind of a list of components on this bench right in front of us. And these are the same parts you can find on the Mud Monster behind us. And also really this closer to stock vehicle as well. Different parts for different folks here. Yes, uh, a lot of people think that we just tune for race cars because the racers are the ones that typically break everything, but that's absolutely, uh, couldn't be farther from the truth. We tune for the guy that drives super slow, retired on the weekend and just does trail riding and wants to be relaxed and comfortable. But we also tune for things like this mud monster behind us that's completely on the other side of the spectrum that most people are never going to do. But where most of our components live is in that happy space between the two, where people need a little bit more out of their vehicle and we make the parts to do that. Let's talk about some of the components on this, this monstrosity back here, starting with the sway bar here. That's something we're gonna find on there. How is that uh, an upgrade from what might be stock on the UTV? Uh, factory UTVs typically have a lot of body roll and a lot of people don't like that feeling when they enter into a corner and sway bars typically fix that. Stops a lot of the body roll that you get when you enter a corner pretty quick. So sway bars can give a feeling of stability, safety, corner speeds, you typically will go up. But sway bars aren't the answer to everything. Fast, desert driving might be a home run for sway bars. But on the east coast with trail riding and slower speeds, independence might be the way to go. So uh, no sway bar or disconnected sway bars for certain terrain in use, and stiffer sway bars and adjustability for others. And after we're talking sway bar, what's, what's another consideration here? You have the rack and pinion. How is this more beefy than what I might find on a stock UTV? So usually the first accessory people put on their UTV is a set of wheels and tires. They more than likely weigh more than the factory system. And that extra weight puts a lot of stress on the steering and other suspension components. Factory rack and pinions tend to wear out pretty quick and the last thing you want is a little slop in the steering. So we build completely in-house billet and high quality components inside of our rack and pinions. Rack and pinion systems typically that we make don't wear out over time and uh, give a lot more stability to the vehicle as you start adding weight to it. Other things that we find as you kind of go through that progression of components that you had already mentioned, um, steering and tie rod systems. We've got tie rods saying here as well and all of our tie rod kits are adjustable so that you can fix the geometry issues that you might run into with a list of the aftermarket accessories. Fix bump steer, which bump steer is a change in tow and comes back into the steering as feedback that most people don't want. And uh, our tie rod kits fix that. Extension clunk is very, very common with UTVs and a limit strap kit that we offer cures all of that so you don't wear out parts inside the shock as well. Other things that we have besides sway bars, sway bar links, our electronic shock upgrades. We've got a system called IQS, or Intelligent Quick Switch, which allows you to take a manually adjusted and tuned shock externally and make that electronic, where you can tune it on the fly on the dash, so you can run soft and plush 
when you're going at slow speeds, or you can turn it up if you want to hit that jump or that G out a little bit too hard. All kinds of parts and accessories, things are going to make your ride a whole lot nicer and maybe a whole lot faster if that's what you're looking for. Shock Therapy is the place to go. We've got a whole lot more coming up from Shock Therapy's facility and from the studio here. And we'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by Dragonfire Tools next. Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com coming to you from the Campbell's Custom Care Studio. Well, not just in the Campbell's Custom Care Studio this week, we're also spending some time out here in Phoenix, Arizona at Shock Therapy. Now, Justin, we've seen this incredible facility here. You guys will service anybody's shocks, any brand that comes in, you can service it and then rebuild it. But when it comes to stuff you sell and stuff you put on the vehicle, how much of that do you make here in-house? You know, we make everything in-house. Uh, there's very little that we source out, maybe nuts and bolts, that's about it. But we're very particular about the components that we build. Uh, we're very particular about how they're built. The only thing we install here are products on every vehicle made, and we do service every single shock made. And when it comes to parts, how many different part numbers do you, do you manufacture? Currently we have 450 SKUs. Um, to be honest though, some of those are four seat spring kits versus two. And so that actually brings it down to about 200. Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How important is it for you to make, make everything here to, to make sure it's, it's what you need? You know, making everything is paramount because we originally started with other companies building things for us and we really couldn't control the quality. And so we brought all the manufacturing in-house. We do all of the CNC work here. We do all the welding and fabrication and design work here in-house. Starts sometimes with a sketch on a notepad. And then from there goes into CAD drawings, engineered drawings and then the CNC programming language, and then prototype components. How do you decide a part needs to be made in the first place? So the way that we approach our parts design and where we're gonna go with it is basically the need in the vehicle as we see things starting to fail. As we make the vehicles ride better, sometimes people drive a lot faster, definitely a lot safer, but when you do that, you'll find the next weakest link in a UTV. So for instance, if we do a spring kit internals and you're able to go 50 miles an hour through the whoops instead of 40, you might find that the tie rods are now the weakest spot. We'll go ahead and make that. And once the tie rods are fixed, you might find the next weakest link could be a radius rod. We then go down the next part and the next part on the list until we get to the end and you've got a UTV that'll put up with the abuse. Well, someone that may uh, be new to the UTV world, out there banging around on the trails, like, oh, what's a couple thousand? So, why is it gonna make a difference that you guys pay so much attention to, to the tolerance and to the materials you guys use? You know, high quality materials, the best heat treat, the best coatings, all add up to longevity. And longevity and components are very important to us as well. You can buy aftermarket parts that may only last for a thousand miles and now it's worn out and you gotta buy another one. What we try to do is design parts that are a lifetime component for the UTV. So you buy it once and you can forget it. You're gonna be worrying about something else on the vehicle, not our parts. But that is not a good business model. If people only buy from you one time. So how do you make that work? You know, you're right. Uh, maybe we should have failure points, but- uh, <laughs> Some people do. They, and they do, uh, and we see it, but not with us. We, we really wanna make sure that we build the best thing. We wanna also make sure that no one else can improve on our part. It's designed in such a way that nobody can make it better than we did. Quality is tantamount to shock therapy. What's one of the ways you can make sure folks are gonna get a quality part when they get it in their mailbox? From the beginning, high quality CNC machining. Number two, checking the components after the fact. We've got a ton of scanning devices that'll verify all of our tolerances. After we send parts out for things like heat treat, anodizing, we always check all the heat treat ratings with a Rockwell tester. We spot check all the batches. And throughout the assembly process, we've got a whole list of things that must be checked and signed off by that assembly person and documented. It's also uh, documented for history attached to the part number of that, for instance, rack and pinion. We know exactly who assembled it. We know exactly the tolerances that were in it for the rest of its life. Like every good story, it starts at the beginning and you've got to start with high quality materials. How do you ensure that? So everything that we use in source material wise is located and sourced inside the USA. We also make everything in the USA. So we're very, very proud of that. We're very, very stringent upon the materials that we get, and all of them have uh, history certs, so we know what mill they came from and what batch they were in. Tony Blevins is our Motorhead of the Week. Tony spent four years teaching automotive technology at the high school level, and he's going on 17 years as a community college professor. And there's not enough time to list them all, but Tony has certifications through the roof. Now let's just say if it runs on gas or diesel, he can work on it. And when he's not teaching folks how to work on cars, he's working on cars in his spare time, of course. 
He says he's done around 350 restorations, mostly for friends and family. And he's done a few for himself too. A 70 Chevelle LS6 with a factory four speed, a custom 74 Corvette, and his favorite, an 83 International Scout 80. He paid $350 for it, and after restoration, last year he sold it for $45,000. Hey, hop on over to MotorheadGarage.tv and tell us why you or someone you know should be Motorhead of the Week. We'll tell your story to the world. And keep it right here because Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com, continues after this with more from Shock Therapy and a great tech tip just around the corner. Hanging out with Justin Smith from Shock Therapy. You know, you may look at one of their vehicles like this or maybe a race vehicle they work on and say, well, I don't do anything crazy like that. I'm just a rider on the weekends with my friends. I just want to go on the trails. So how can you help me at Shock Therapy do what I need to do in maybe my stock or stock-ish UTV? You know, a lot of people do feel that way when it comes to what we do because of the racing and the big builds that you see like this behind us. But the truth is we use those things to test all of our components and all of our product designs so that we know that they're gonna function for you, the everyday rider. 90% of what we do is the day-to-day -day use, slower, more comfortable, um, trail riding, guys out with the group and their family. And you guys at Shock Therapy are big into R&D. You wanna make sure all this stuff's gonna work. How is racing and how is you know high performance stuff, um, how does that all work into what you do just for a regular folks on UTVs? Obviously the racers are gonna push everything to the limit. They're gonna find the weak spots, they're gonna break every part on the vehicle. And we do a lot of racing ourselves just strictly to test components. So that environment gives us the best area to find out if our parts are strong enough to live. Uh, we, we know exactly when things will fail and how hard you have to drive it to do that. And we translate and give that information to our customers so that they understand, well, you know, they're not gonna go that fast. You don't need these extra things or they're gonna go a little bit quicker because their buddies are fast and they're always in competition with each other on the trail, then okay, you do need these extra things because we know when you drive it that hard, what you're gonna expect. That ability to understand the level at which people need to go and where they may not have to go is invaluable and that's what we use racing for. There are other places to get suspension and to get tuning for your vehicle suspension. Why should they choose shock therapy? There's a few things that set us apart from anybody else in the industry. Uh, one, we're enthusiasts, as we've talked about before. We eat, live, and breathe this stuff. We're learning, we're adapting, we're improving every single day. Having all of the manufacturing in-house and design work and engineering in-house allows us to give the best possible component to our customer that could ever be built. It's a goal of ours to make sure that no one could ever improve upon anything that we've ever designed. And that allows our customers to know, and what we want them to know, that anything that we design, anything that you purchase from us, is the best part you could ever buy. Believe me, these guys aren't just talk, these guys get it done. Shock Therapy is the destination when you're talking about tuning for the suspension on your UTV. You can find them at shocktherapyusa.com. And we had a great time this week visiting our friends, Justin, and all the folks at Shock Therapy. We're going to do some more Motorhead Garage next week, so do not miss that show. In the meantime, if you have any comments or if you've got a product you want to see on our show, email me, dave at motorheadgarage.tv, and maybe we'll get you right here in our studio. From our entire crew and for all the folks at Shock Therapy, we'll see you next time on Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com.